Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. So in the last video we did the RGB fans, we used the Commander Core uh, XT. Okay, so I'm using that device to plug the uh, fans and RGB into. But, the fans were running at full speed because they were only 3-pin. And I didn't like that, so I wanted it to be a little bit more quiet. To be able to control it through the BIOS. So, what I did is I took the fans, and I'll show you this in a little bit here. Um, basically, I took the fans and connected them back to the case that is plugged directly into the motherboard. That will allow me to adjust the fan speed and uh, make some more changes that way, as opposed to having them run full power all the time. Because, yes, it'll, you'll get better cooling, but the sound might just drive you crazy. So, <laughs> I switched them, and that's what I did. But more importantly, the thing I mentioned in the last video is I wanted to show you the IQ software. Okay, from Corsair. So, what I found out is, depending on the type of fan you have, is what you have to choose. So, I'm going to show you that in the video of how to figure that out. Like, how to choose your, uh, be able to choose those colors and change everything up. You'll see it in the video. It's clearer in the video than what I'm saying now. But, it'll tell you how to do it all. Show you how I did it. And give you a little bit more of a... A better way of choosing either static colors breathing patterns all that kind of good stuff and I think it's just I don't know maybe you'll find that more interesting uh, because I did say I was going to come back and show you that and I wanted to make sure I did and I think it'll help you out if it doesn't well let me know and uh, yeah we'll see if I can do something else about it here we go all right so the first thing I want to talk about is our fans so in the last video uh, you saw me install them go through all that um, you can change up the colors in the front. They were red before. Now you can pick whatever pattern you want. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the uh, IQ software. I kind of figured that out now. Beauty of these fans is they're eight LED series is kind of the way they're referred to. So the big thing is to determine what kind of fan you've got. And that's how you'll know when you're looking at the IQ software how to set your patterns and stuff. And I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. First off, when I put the fans in with the uh, Commander uh, XT, I'm just going to quickly show you that here. So let's open this up. It's the beauty of this case. On the inside, when you plug them in, the fans were super loud. So what I did is I disconnected them from the hub and only used the RGB for the colors for the fans. And the fan uh, connectors on the case itself which plugged directly into the motherboard, it made the fans quieter. So I just want to give you that little bit of a heads up of how to quiet down your fans. And if you want to run in full blast, well, you can do that, but it's, it gets a little annoying after a while. But I'm also going to show you this product. So I got this, All right? So it's the Corsair RGB hub, All right? Plugs into SATA for power. And has a USB connector. Now the only problem with that is you can run just RGB, which is what all the other one's doing anyway. But it did not include the USB connector for the IQ software. So if you're going to buy that online, just be aware that is an issue. And there's somebody out there selling that. And I don't know what they did with the cable. I've ordered the cable. You can order one for like 12 bucks or something. So it's still cheaper in the long run than this. And I'll be able to reuse this. Okay, so... That makes it simple for me. So basically, now that you can adjust the fans a little bit with the software and the BIOS, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the IQ software like I said I would do the last video. So I've got the IQ software up here now running. And with our Commander Core XT, if you click on that, it brings you up to what you've got. So here's the thing that I didn't realize the last time. So you've got different lighting setups. If you choose the 8 LED series fans. Now um, it actually is fans just so it picks the fans so you can look at the colors that you got. Currently you can see the pattern of all the different colors for the LEDs that are on it now. So what I didn't realize is if you want to change some of this, get different colors, you can go in here and if you right click on one of these LEDs, then it comes up with a different menu. You can go static color, you can go other lighting, Okay, you have a bunch of different presets. Okay, so all your different uh, temperature, strobe, 
just different things you can make it do. You can set a custom one for whatever you want and just different. And then once you, you can add them to a library and you can use that. But what if you just want a single color? All right. So this is what I was trying to do last time and wasn't quite coming out. So click on static color and it's going to give you more down bottom. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Gives you more options down here. So if you want to do it, you want to pick, you can do fan one or fan two. But if you pick all, then you can choose the color. So you can go over here where it's just static color and you can choose them. So I'm going to choose them. And as I do that, I'm going to show you the fans here. So right now it's gone back to its uh, default, which is blue. But what if you really want a, a deeper blue? You can go ahead and choose the blue. See how that changed already? And you can darken that down just by sliding it across. All right. And then you can click back up on here if you want to pick a different color. All right. So we're back to the static color again. And however you choose, see how the lighting pattern, or lighting palette, I guess I should call it. And I, I'm, I know I say fans, but it's the fan RGB colors I'm referring to. Uh, see, it's a light green. You can have it almost like it really doesn't seem like it's green. And you can darken it down to whatever. You can even make it so far deep into the dark, it almost looks like it's black. See how that's working? And again, you, there's different choices you can make in here to pick your default colors, custom colors. And you can even, if you know the numbers, which you can look up, you can pick your own color scheme in here and then use that. All right. So that's just, I wanted to break that down for you to show you more of what you could do. And of course, you can go back over in here and if you click on this, you can scroll down and see the different watercolors like so this is watercolor spectrum. Well, let's see what that does. All right. So that's kind of what we had before. Color pulse. Uh, color shift. So that's going to just change all your different colors. It should just rotate the different colors over time, which is kind of nice, actually. So I wanted to show you how I found that out because last time I really hadn't done deep enough into it. Once I get the other cable, I'll know for sure whether the RGB, Corsair RGB hub actually works. But uh, at the moment, I don't think powering it up and just plugging in the RGB fans is going to make a difference. Because it can't communicate with the IQ software. So it really won't help you at all. But at least now you can see how to choose the different fans. So when you're looking at your fans, look on the box specifically to see whether it's an 8 LED series fan or what kind it is, whether it falls under the four pin or the three pin or whatever you're trying to set up. And you can add profiles for each one of these as well. So just something to be aware of. All right, so I hope you liked that video. Basically, I'm just showing you how to choose your fan, which specific fan you have. Pick the series that you bought. So check your box, see which one it is. And then when you're choosing your menu, that will help you to do it. Click on the little LED itself. Right click on it. That's what I did. I right clicked on the LED. That brings up a whole nother menu. I didn't even know it was there. So hopefully that will help you out as well. And then I showed you a couple of different things I clicked on to give me like solid colors and how to put like different patterns throughout there that I didn't even know I could do. I knew I could do it. I just didn't know how. So in the last video, I wasn't able to show it. So I wanted to show it in this video. So if you like it, hit that like. If you don't, well, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought, what more you'd like to see, and I'll try and bring it to you. But the big part of this video was just I wanted to show you how to make some changes in the IQ software. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. Uh, tell me what you think of the content. Hit that bell for notifications as videos as they come up. Hit that join button if you want to support the channel, or if you really like the video because I help you out with the IQ software somehow. Um, hit that thanks and donate and uh, help out again none of this is ever required just helps out the channel that's all and uh, I hope it educated you a little bit on the software and I mean it can be very intimidating but as you delve into it more it becomes more and more easy to figure out so there's a lot more I could do on this but I just didn't want to go too deep into it because then people can kind of get confused 
I'm not sure I'm not going to get confused. But anyway, I'm going on and on. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.